Hey, welcome back. We're up here in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verses 16 to 20 today. Uh, David is trying, his, his family's been gone away in an Amalekite raid. They've been taken prisoner. Let's see what happens next, starting at verse 16. And when he had brought him down, there they were spread out over all the land, eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil which they had taken from the land of the Philistines and from the land of Judah. Then David attacked them from twilight until the evening of the next day. Not a man of them escaped except 400 young men who rode on camels and fled. So David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away, and David rescued his two wives, and nothing of theirs was lacking, either small or great, sons or daughters, spoil or anything which they had taken from them. David recovered all. Then David took all the flocks and herds they had driven before those other livestock and said, this is David's spoil. So we're going to see why that's significant uh, maybe tomorrow, but... Uh, notice right here, they leads David to the camp, and these guys, what are they thinking? They thought that all the Philistines are over there fighting with the Hebrews, and the, the, the Hebrews are over there fighting with the Philistines. They thought, you know, hey, we're going to be, in, we're going to clean up back here. They took their stuff, they burned the city, and off they went to have a big party. Didn't think there was any military force near them, but here comes David with 400 guys. So, yes, you can see how it ends here. Uh, the only ones that get away are the guys on the fast cars, I mean the camels. They get away. But everybody else is, is caught, and David recovers all, just exactly as God promised. David recovered all. So, you know what? David trusted in God. He followed a uh, wise procedure, step by step. He didn't get ahead of the Lord, didn't get behind the Lord, and David recovered all. When God tells us that his way is better than the way of sin, we know that it's true. And when God shows us that his way is the way to go, and he shows us how to go, we should take that and say, yes, God is on his throne. He, he has something for me. We should take God at his word and let him bless us and see what he, see what he has in mind there for us. Uh, David knows enough about God's ways to trust him. Do you and I know enough about God's ways to trust him? Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, uh, perhaps David is ahead of us in the area of trust, some of us. Help us, Lord, to be ready to trust you, ready to watch you providentially deliver. Thank you that we can look to you. Thank you that as David recovered all, we, by trusting in you and living your ways, will also more, more than recover all through the grace of your gospel and your truth through Jesus. Now, Lord, bless us as we learn more and more how to trust in Jesus, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So God be with you today and bless you and I as we learn every day a little bit more how to trust in him.